Today we're going to talk about procrastination, a huge topic for women who want to scale and grow their business. My name is Tineke Rense. I'm from Powerful Business Academy. I help self-employed businesswomen to scale to a proper business owner, to build your own business um, and double your income in a year. Now, what about procrastination? We all have it. And some of us deal better with it than others. Some of it creates to-do lists. Some of it work around it with time management. Some of us use kill the frog in the morning attitude, like do it first and then it's gone. But procrastination is always around the corner. And you know when it kicks in? It kicks in when there are things we're not sure about. So for example, we're not sure how to deal with it. We're not sure what people will say about it. We're not sure where to start. We've never done it before. We don't like doing it. So there's, there's a lot of reasons why we procrastinate. So that is one level. So it's, yes, you, you can ignore all those things and just push it and have discipline. It works amazingly, yet there is a but. I've been doing that basically all my career um, until a couple of years ago because that costs you a lot of energy and you don't start a project or a task from the right energy within. And what is that? Well, I already mentioned about five, six things why we can procrastinate. And probably you can come up with 10 different reasons. Yeah, so we always have reasons why we procrastinate. But those are not the real reasons. The real reasons are often because we have a belief about something. We have a belief that it's difficult or that we can't do it or that someone will judge or that you will never be happy with the outcome. No matter what reason, what, what belief you have, believe me that that's bullshit and it's not true. Okay. But you have the proof all around. Yes, we always have proof for beliefs. We do. This morning I was talking to someone and she said that she procrastinated because she thought her work was never good enough. Which was not true because I, I always liked the work. And so I started coaching her and eventually we found out that people around her have told her that she was wasting her potential. She had so much skills, they would say to her, if I would have your skills, I wouldn't do what you do. But she loves what she does. But she adopted those nasty voices and she started to believe them. And therefore, she set herself up for procrastination. Even she set herself up for failure because whatever she produced, she always thought it was not good enough. Now. Still, that's not the procrastination part. But what about if you feel that whatever you're going to do, it will never be good enough? Are you, do you like starting? Do you like to start with that task at all? Or if you have the belief, I don't know how to do it. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm not skilled enough. I'm not um, tech savvy enough. Well, you will always find the proof because it's a belief. You will always, you will either push your wrong button and whoop, everything you've done is gone in your CC. I'm not tech savvy enough. Well, that's the self-fulfilling prophecy at work. It always needs proof of your belief. So wouldn't you rather start a task from the right belief from the right energy so that you don't set yourself up for the self-fulfilling prophecy so that you don't have to procrastinate anymore 
Now, it's not always that easy to find the reason behind procrastination and even go deeper and find why you have a belief that is so fulfilling all the time. Because a belief is not true for someone else and not for me. A belief is actually never true. It always originates from past. And it makes you start something from a, a certain perspective. You can always start with a fresh, clean slate. The past does not have to determine what you do now and what your outcome is tomorrow. No way. So procrastination, it's, yes, you can force yourself and that's the masculine way of doing it. Or you can start to look within and start to eliminate the reasons for procrastination. And that's creating freedom. That's creating, raising your energy, raising your vibration and making sure that you love doing the things you wouldn't love doing before and even create a better outcome. Now, isn't that cool? Now, I can help you with that. I can help you with finding the reasons why you procrastinate, but I can also help you with implementing all the business things you're working on. Um, so, because there's always two, two sides of the coins. There's the strategies, the techniques, the skills, and there's you who has to do them. And when you do them from, with the wrong beliefs and with the wrong um, energy, the outcome is going to be different. Now, I always believe you need to work on both. Strategies, skills, plus your own emotions, your own mindset, even your own soul set. All right? So why don't you schedule a quick 15-minute call to see if I can help you or what you want help with. It's not a sales call. I'm not selling you in 15 minutes. We will provide the link here in the comments and uh, I might talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.